Hey everyone, this is Super Aang, and I'm here to show you the changes I've made to Kirby, which are featured in my mod, Project Cow. So, first things first, uh, we all know that Kirby suffers from really slow airspeed in Vanilla Melee, and for the most part, that is kind of the same. His actual like, acceleration and ability to change speed is the same, but what's been increased is his... Uh, maximum speed so he, he still accelerates at the same rate but his max speed is higher so he can actually follow up better you know if he holds the same direction as you can see if I try to drift back and then drift forward it's still pretty slow so he's pretty committed um, to a jump when he does go in so that still remains relatively the same kind of like the jump drift is kind of like ice climbers or Luigi but he still has good um, horizontal momentum when he jumps so he can still get in that's, that's good and his weight was slightly increased from 70 units to 73 and for reference, Fox is 75, so he's still a little bit lighter than Fox, but weighs a little bit more, which is nice. Also, uh, Kirby's short hop was lowered a little bit, and the main reason for that was just it helps forward air connect better. As you can see, all um, hits land, and when it was a full hop, it just... Kirby would still be rising when the hits were coming out and it just didn't connect as well. So that's also been improved. Next up we have the dash attack. So before in Vanilla Melee, Kirby's dash attack was terrible. It was really slow and punishable even on hit. Just the way the, the angle sent them at. And so now it is actually faster which dropped 10 frames overall and the angle it sends back sends them behind Kirby so it's more of a get out of the corner option you can also try to get the weak hit something like that because you can act out of the move much more quickly now but it doesn't really true combo still but you can kind of use that in some situations, potentially. Forward tilt and down tilt damage was reduced by one. So it used to do 11 damage, now it does 10. So 12, 11, 10 to 11, 10, 9. If that makes sense, because the different angles did different damage. Down tilt damage reduced slightly and the angle was raised from 20 degrees to 25 still pretty good though Kirby is in a, a really hard position to hit when he's squashed down so flat and his foot goes pretty far actually next we have neutral air neutral air was really slow in vanilla melee it came out on frame 10 and now it's frame 6 so it's still not the fastest, but it is faster. And it actually does a little bit less damage, so you can follow up on it better. Before it did, the knockback was too much, and in that in combination of Kirby's low airspeed, you just couldn't get any follow-ups on it. So the reduced damage and better airspeed helps him follow up. In forward air, we've already kind of touched upon, does a little bit less damage the first two hits, Damage was reduced from 5 to 4, and the knockback was tweaked a little bit to help it connect better. And the final hit has a little bit less knockback. Back air, damage reduced from 14 to 13. A lot of these damage reductions are because, for some reason, Kirby was designed to be kind of like a slow but powerful character in vanilla melee which really doesn't make any sense my approach to Kirby is to kind of make him uh, 
a jack of all trades type character, master of none. So his ground speed isn't terrible, but it's not super fast. His air speed is pretty slow, but the greater maximum speed and multiple jumps makes it better. And so keeping that in mind, he's not so much of a the strong character as he was in vanilla melee. He trades that for more speed. But uh yeah, I kinda like that the analogy Jack of all trades, because even in Kirby's own game he's he has the copy ability, which you know that kinda just leads into his design design philosophy in my mind. One thing I did forget to mention is Kirby's jump squat, the frames, was increased from 3 to 4. So it that So I think Jigglypuff is 5 frames jump squat, and Kirby has 4. Up air, same treatment like I was saying, damage was reduced from 15 to 14. Still hits pretty hard though, so that's still good. Down air had just a little too much startup in vanilla melee from it was 18 frames it's been sped up to be 16 and this is Kirby's main uh, one of Kirby's main tools to get in and start something is the landing hit pops them up and you can try to get grabs and stuff off of it so down air is a little bit better the angle is the landing hit angle is better too so all those changes really help Kirby's combo game forward air connects the back air weak back air neutral air all of it connects and flows into each other a lot more smoothly than it did before we'll go over Kirby's throws so you can't mash out of Kirby's throws, at least not as easily. And up throw was changed a little bit. There's basically just sends them further, kind of like how it did in S Smash 64. Can't kill at any percent really, but uh, it is pretty good at sending someone off stage so you can try to edge guard them. Down throw. The angle it sends at was reversed from 110 degrees to 70. The base knockback was increased, and it's actually faster, too. You still probably can't get anything real off of it. Like, as you can see, up tilt doesn't combo. I guess jab did. That actually might be kind of crazy. I don't know, you can still escape that if you wanted to, though. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really combo very well, but you can still get follow-ups, as you can see. Maybe something like a down smash. He's at really high percent, so it's comboing there. But down throw actually is beneficial, whereas before you could get punished <laughs> from using down throw, which is really weird. So all of these tools help Kirby's neutral a ton, combo game, and her, Kirby's recovery are all really improved from all these changes. But we're not stopping there, now are we? Now we have Kirby's special attacks. So this is where the fun begins. Kirby... Uh, let's see. So, first of all, Kirby's down B, the stone. The damage was reduced from 18 to 16, but now it does do more shield damage, and the angle it sends at is a meteor. So, basically, you can try to get this move. If someone's off stage, let me build some percent. As you can see, Kirby Stone Meteors, which is actually pretty nice because Kirby is 
invulnerable when he's in stone. So it can actually it can actually punish some things. It's pretty slow, but still, but um, it's still a pretty nice tool to have. I just get my other controller here to show you the shield damage it does. Let's see. <clears throat> So it doesn't do crazy shield damage, but it should at least make it safe-ish, or maybe at least safer on shield. Still probably isn't very good, but that's also changed. A uh, big one, at least for me, which it worked in Smash 64, so I don't know why they took it out of melee, but Kirby's up B has more hits on it. Used to be when Kirby was falling with the sword, it the hitbox expired really early. However, now it does the hitbox stays as long as Kirby is falling. And it sends the opponent at a spike angle. It's a really weak spike, but it's still a spike. So uh, yeah, so basically Kirby can rise and fall with it a lot better. And I might have left it out of my notes, but the the projectile off the end of that B is has a better angle to help it hit more than once too. So it actually can build pretty nice damage. So granted side B, the hammer, comes out two frames sooner. The damage is a little less from twenty-three to twenty-one. But the hitbox is increased, so it's easier to land, and the angle it sends at is a little bit steeper as well. Also, let's see. So then, last is the side B in the air. So this move before was really bad in vanilla melee basically was just a really slow like multi-hitting move that didn't really get you anything from it and was since it had end lag it was punishable however now it is still a multi-hitter but it hits three times only and on the last hit it actually has a meteor for grounded opponents, which pops them up. So in that sense, it's kind of like Kirby's forward air, except it's better at crossing up, and it's better at crossing up, and the last hit, you can maybe get something off of it at higher percents, whereas if it was Kirby's forward air, you really wouldn't. So yeah, those are pretty much all the changes to Kirby. Uh, last thing I also want to show off was Kirby's colors. They were all they were changed to be reminiscent of Kirby's uh, costume colors in his game Superstar. So this is the beam. When he copies beam, that one's ice, fire. That one's Plasma. And this one is just the throwback to when Kirby was in his first game when he was black and white. You can see the things on his cheeks are a little bit different. Anyways, I hope you appreciate all the changes that were made to Kirby. Jack of all trades, master of none. So, I hope you appreciate the changes I made to Kirby. He should be faster overall a little less more powerful but that's okay because now his moves actually work together a lot better um, his moves kind of flow more naturally now and he can actually follow up and can't be punished for just random things like mashed out of his throw or having really bad 
you know, aerial side B and aerials and recovery. So hopefully that should increase Kirby's viability. And thank you for watching.